before explaining answer to this question, let me tell you a very interesting story. Often we have this particular myth thing that if you want to do an embedded systems course, you should be from an EC or a triple background. Similarly, if you want to do a full stack web developer course, you should be from computer science background, etc. etc. In fact, in emergency also, we had some notion of thinking going on for quite some time. In the year 2019, a couple of mechanical engineers came and inquired for the embedded systems course. Our team of counselors said, you can very well do the course, but we will not be able to come into placements because companies do expect you to come from an electronics or an electrical background. Those students said, that's fine, we are here to learn, we are not bothered about placements, we don't want placements. They said, fine, go ahead and do the course. Interestingly, as they gone through that particular course, one fine day, we saw both of them getting placed in a core embedded systems company. That kind of an eye-opener for all of us in university. We kind of, you know, surprised to see such results produced by our students and we gone back to our recruiting company by sending out a survey saying that do you really care about the branch that the student has studied? Majority of your recruiting company said no. All they care for is their relevant skills, not the branch what they study. Ever since then, that particular incident, we have opened up our both IoT and embedded systems course for all the branches. Today, we have success stories coming from not only in mechanical engineering, production engineering, material science, civil engineering students are able to achieve core embedded systems or IoT jobs. In fact, we are able to break the branch barrier which has been existing in the industry. Hope this clarifies.